Hello, ukulele fans. Today, I'm going to show you how to play Island Ragtime. This is an original composition, and I am licensing it under the uh, Creative Commons license. That means, practically speaking, uh, you know, go ahead and play it, and uh, attribution would be nice. My name is Alfonso, or I also go by prairiealoha.com. Uh, but if you use it in a work that's going to make millions of dollars, I do want my cut. So it's arranged for uh, ukulele in low G tuning, that's like this. My dog has fleas! And that's as opposed to the uh, more common reentrant ukulele tuning, which would be... My dog has fleas! So you can play it either way. If you have a uh, conventionally tuned ukulele reentrant tuning, just use the same fingers and frets. It will sound different, but it will make musical sense. If you want to come over to the dark side of low-G ukulele tuning, the easiest way is to find a guitar shop that sells uh, guitar strings individually and get a fourth string or D string from a classical guitar set, not a steel string set that'll be too heavy and that could damage your ukulele. Anyway, you put it in the fourth position, you'll have to cut off some length, tune it up to G, and you're good to go. Anyway, so the uh, part has, uh, or the piece has an uh, introduction. Second part, come back to the introduction. Then it has a key change. Then it finishes with the second part. So, without further ado, let's get going. Okay, the beginning section. So, this is a syncopated beat to start. So that's a slide from the uh, third fret on the fourth string and the second string up to the fifth fret on the same two strings, and you don't play any other strings. Missed a little bit there. Mm. Anyway, and this is just an ascending arpeggio on an F chord. That's the second fret on the uh, fourth string, third string open, first string first fret, second string open. Now, this next thing is a, an ascending arpeggio on a sort of a C7. So it's a third fret, fourth string, third string open, third fret, second string, and then the F note, I'm sorry, the uh, B flat note, and you can kind of pull it off like that. So slowly this is how it goes. And then you come back to the F. The next thing is a B flat. 3rd fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, 3rd string, 1st fret, strings 1 and 2, and I do it with a bar. Not slow me. Back to the F. Back to the slide motif. Okay, so let's do it all at tempo. go to the second part. Okay, the second part. Uh, this is a, based around an F major position to start. Fifth fret bar on uh, strings uh, two, three, and four, and then you're on the eighth fret with your little finger, but you're going to move that around, and eventually you're going to move it to the uh, 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 eighth fret on the second string of the first string, and so. Okay, so here's how the uh, the F part goes. Okay. And this is a C7, kind of. Uh, fourth string open, seventh fret on the third, sixth fret on the second, seventh fret on the, th on the uh, first. Um, so I'm using, I'm leaving my index finger open because I'm going to pull off the little finger to have the index finger on the fifth fret of the first string. So it's slowly it's going to go like this. again. Then back to the F. That is a 
again a B flat. So what I've done is um, seventh fret on the fourth, still holding my fifth position bar on the third, sixth fret on the second, and eighth fret on the first. And then go back to the F, and then back to the C7. And then a flamenco uh, flourish at the end. So um, first off, let's talk about the flamenco. Uh, what you're really doing is you are shooting out uh, in classical guitar nomenclature P for thumb, index, I, M, middle, A for annular or ring finger. Okay, and what you're doing is you're shooting them out real fast like that and sometimes bring the index back up um, and if you do it real fast it sounds like this. As I say, it's a flamenco technique, it's called rasqueo or rajeo, as they say in southern Spain. And we'll use that the second time that we do the second part at the end of the song. But anyway, let's, let's do the second part just at tempo now. Alright, so we did the intro, after we play that, that uh, second part, we come back to the intro, and uh, so then we do a key change, and this is in the key of D. Uh, you start with a uh, second fret on the fourth string, first fret on the third string, third fret on the second string, and the first string open. That's an A7 chord. And now you go to a D chord. It's the same shape as you had with the F up here, but only it's at the second fret. So you have a bar on the second fret across uh, strings two, three, and four, and then you have the little finger on fret five. And again, you lift it off to get... Okay, so let's hear those, those two transitions. Okay, so you do that twice. Now that's where it gets tricky. We're going to work our way back to the F major key that, that the piece is in. And uh, uh, this is a, uh, I believe it's an A7 chord. B flat 7. This is the C7 that you saw earlier. Okay, let's go through those slowly again. Second fret, fourth fret, third fret, fourth fret. Slide the whole thing up one fret. Lose the bar. Come up to where the C7 was before. And then the fifth position F that you had before. So when, uh, when you come back to the intro in the middle and then you go to the key change, this is how the whole thing goes. to the end. Now we go to the second part again. slide motif, then come up to the F, 
with the uh, little finger on the eighth fret of the second string this time. Okay, I'll end rag time. Let's see if I can get through it without too many mistakes. All the way through.